Okay, so now uh, question number 14. So question number 14 is here, uh, a debt of 25,000 is being, uh, it should be amortized. Amortized means being split apart or reduced or stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? With equal payments. So it's going to be split out or it's going to be uh, reduced into various parts, but with a quarter payment over six years. So this is going to be our present value, means this is the money that now has to be amortized, you know what I'm saying? So present money and amortize with equal. So by any means, I could use present uh, value formula. Equal quarter payment. So quarter payments. So look, we say you can either use, you can either use present value formula or future value formula. Whenever they say the money has been, either you pay the money or in, in look here. Okay, over six years, and the money worth seven percent interest rate. So interest rate seven percent per annum, compounded quarter. So whenever the money is compounded quarter, means you're gonna use for, you know what I'm saying? Calculate the amount of each payment. So whenever they say uh, calculate the amount of money in each payment, means uh, you either use present value or future value. So each payment represents X, okay? So now let's see how we do. So I've written all the data down. So these are present value, means the money which has to be amortized. You know what I'm saying? And years, and the money, interest rate 7%, compounded equal. Quarterly means quarter, means we use four, because quarter, calculate the amount of each payment. So now, I wrote everything down. So we're gonna use present value, like I say. So I got my present value, which is uh, two, five, and then time is six years. We can say this T and N is the same thing, etc. Now I'm gonna plug it in. So plug it in. Okay, PV we got, which is two, five. So instead of this PV, I'll say two, five, one, two, three. And then equal X, that's what I'm looking for. X represent how regular the money can be paid, okay? So now you write your bracket, one minus one, what is the interest rate? Interest rate equals 7%. So say 7%, but I remember it was a compounded quarter. So quarter means whatever the interest rate you divide by four, and the same thing minus, whenever there's a time, what is the time? Time is six, so you take formula say minus N, so our time is six N, but uh, since it was compounded quarter, whatever you write here, you must write also there on top. So on top, I mean all that I want to finish, and then over our interest rate, which is this one here, seven, so seven, but any interest rate must be divided also by, by what by? Uh, by how it was compounded, it was compounded quarter, so quarter divided by four. So plug this in the calculator. So you take a calculator, okay. Calculator, so now, I hope you see there. So take your calculator and they say fraction because it got fraction top and bottom and plug the one on top. So uh, put bracket in one, one, minus, minus bracket. And it's a lot of noise a little bit, so never mind. You know what I mean? Just focus on what we're doing. So one plus, there's a lot of people make noise here. Seven percent, seven, shifty, percent over, we over four. So write your four and then go outside that we have the power, power, negative, six times four. I Means six is years, a times four, and then close your bracket, come underneath, open the bracket again, and then seven again. So it's a fraction, seven percent, shifty percent, and over, over four, how to compound and close your bracket. So everything is done. So what we're gonna do now, I'll plug that, oh, just give an answer. So the answer you get, 1946. So you take your pen, 1946. So here it's gonna be 19, 1946. You see that? 1946, zero. Six, you don't have to write out of it, but I like to like write for funny, you know? So six, five, and then X, we're looking for X, baby. So now this is five, triple zero, okay? So now how are we gonna get X? From grade three, four, okay? When I was grade three, you know, find the value of X. How we get X here, man? You divide by, you don't need this, cause you only need X. So since I don't need that, I have to divide throughout by that number. Zero, six, eight, double, five, six, five, five, six, five, throughout. 19,460,685,65. So I'm gonna come to my calculator. So that's my answer right there. You know what I'm saying? So I'll come here and say fraction, two, five, one, two, three, and divide my answer, because I had the answer. So. This is gonna give me 1284. So my bar of X equal, do you see there, is 1284.64. So X equal to 1284.64, 64, 1, 2, 
Travis so Henry Four. This one right here. You know what I'm saying? So that's vital facts. So most of the time, uh, you can check is that oh, you can approximate two decimal places. You know what I mean? Uh, two decimal places. Never mind, man. I like change colors, man. Uh, crayon boy, you know. So x equal to twelve eighty four. Point six two decimal place means we gonna stop right here, and this number cannot change the previous because this number has to be more than five to change the previous. It's not more than five, so we stop here. So you go to your option, question number fourteen, and we check if the option is correct or uh, wrong. Let's go and prepare and check the question. Never mind, my computer got a little pop up. Come on, man, we don't need you, baby. Come here, come on. Okay, cool. Question number 14, do you have the option? So, uh, which option? Huh? Option? Four. Can you say loud? Option number four. Okay, I got somebody here doing the same course, so, you know, she's half me to say uh, which option. Option number? Option four. number four. So, please, don't write three and come back and say you're angry at me, okay? It won't be my problem. Okay, so question 14 is done. You know what I mean? Uh, so, option number four, question 14. Thank you.